Oh, here we are. I've arrived at my destination. A couple of Velcro straps. Leave them on the bike. It's been very, very, very mucky, as you'll, as you'll see. I think that says it all. <laughs> been an absolute swamp, but we made it. We're all out the way, and uh, really looking forward to this. Let's have a quick go here. This is my bag. To be honest, it's mostly got camera gear in. I could travel a lot lighter than what I have today, but uh, it's more to carry my gear for your pleasure. Look, there's nothing in there really. <laughs> I've a few bits and bobs and my camera gear. Let's zip that back up. Get me a uh, handy net on and we'll start fishing ASAP. Cheap and cheerful landing net. Pop that on. I'm already rigged up to go. A little uh, 1.98 meters rod, a little gunky rod. 06 braid, 4 pound fluorocarbon, which is about 020. A little tiny 750 reel, and just a bit of a catch all sort of setup, really. That's a size, um, it's either a size 2 or a size 4, I think it's a size 2, and that's a 2 gram jig head. And a, and a smallest spiky shad they do. I want to catch whatever I can. It's, it's January, so I'm not expecting lots of quality fish like I would in November. But we'll have a little dingle dangle around, see what we can catch. Go off that bit there first. Tighten that clutch up. Might catch them straight away. And the beauty why I've come here because nobody else does. I've had to cycle here and I'm pretty sure no one else comes here. If they are, they're pretty mad. <laughs> Looking at the track that I've just had to come down. See if we can get some on this runoff. Then we'll go the other side of the lock. A little drop shot would be better here, but because I've got one rod, one setup, I'm just going to jig head fish everywhere really. Going in this lock cutting to begin with. Just see if anything's hanging around. We've had no boats. So there's every chance there's some perch or something holding up here. Pop it in there. Oop. If there's something about, it's going to be hungry, I think. We've had a hell of a lot of rain. I'll show you the river behind in a bit, hopefully. We have a few little, I'm going to be quite quick. I'm not going to hang around in in a spot for too long. In my experience, if there's a zander about, you'll catch it pretty quick. Or a chub. And uh, I haven't got long. Probably an hour, the usual. I'm just hoping there's some perch about. There's every chance of a chub. But it is January. So anything we catch in January is a bonus. The canal is not the best colour. We've had no end of rain. The rivers are proper, proper flooded and they're going to come up even more. And uh, parts of the canal I've walked, it's almost in the canal. So we're quite lucky. It isn't a bad tinge up here. But as I go down every lock, it gets a bit more, less uh, fishy, shall we say. A lot more coloured. Not good for law fishing. I'm just gonna get it caught on something then. Yeah, it's caught on a bit of weed. See that? I was just telling it wasn't coming through properly. There we go. The clock's ticking. Oh, I thought I had one then. <laughs> Snug. The clock's ticking, so I ain't gonna hang around too long. Another couple of goes up here. I'm not so uh, optimistic here. I just thought I'd have a very quick look above the lock, but below the lock, there's a lovely little run. I'm going to push my bike down below the lock so I don't slip down here. It's bad enough coming up here on my bunk. Woo, quite slippy. I'm going to leave that by that bridge and have a quick look here. Above the flow, see it's raging in. 
Hopefully it's not too snaggy. Absolutely tanking through. It wasn't like this a week ago when I last walked down here, but we've had no end of rain. Let's see if something's hiding above it. That little bridge hole. Again, I'm not going to waste too much time. There's quite a few fishy spots I've cycled past, and uh, what I've done is I cycle to the furthest point and then I can gradually work my way back. Seems to make sense to me. Oh, no, rubbish again. Keep checking the hook, no weed. Not wrong with the casting today, anyway. Yet. <laughs> Tough canal this, it's not easy. It's alright where the boats and everything are. Out in the sticks it's not so clever. There's often a few more surprises. Last cast with this, then we'll we'll try a different vantage point. Alright, before we do anything else, let's swap from this redhead. That's what we got, a little two gram two gram jigger. And then we're going to fish. That's going to offer a nice bit of contrast, like perch pattern. Let's, let's just thread it on. Make sure it's the right way up. It's nice and straight, that's alright. Sure that's working alright. Yep, nice. Uh, and we'll have a go across along these tins. Could be on the inside. Wherever there's tins, there's a little bit of depth, and a lot of the Oxford Canal is no depth on the inside compared to like the Grand Union. But uh, wherever there's some tins, there tends to be a bit more depth. Boats mooring up to use the locks and everything. We're going to have one more chucker along these reeds. Whoa, 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 there we are, there we are, there we are. What have we got? That's a bit angry. It feels a bit chubby. Is it a chub? What have we got? I would say it's a chub. It is a chub. <laughs> Nailed it. It's a big one as well. Yeah! <laughs> wow! I did say, <laughs> nice, proper nailed it, <laughs> cool. I was lucky with that, <laughs> nice bit of soft grass for him, look at that, he's only just hooked, look, not even impaled it properly, nice, awesome, <laughs> it's worth the cycle trip. Well this is what I was kind of hoping for. Fishing in that faster water, I'm, I'm still surprised to have caught it. Cracking chub. I haven't actually caught many chub on uh, on laws on the canals. Caught plenty on the rivers, but not so many on the canal. What's that? It's got to be nearly two and a half, three pound. Absolutely stunning fish. And this is what I've caught him on. I swapped to that perch imitation. It felt right. There we are. He's mangled it a little bit, but that's all it is. I think it's about six and a half centimetres that on a size two hook and a two gram jig head. Absolutely nailed it and just three metres out in front of me as well. So there must be a few more chub around. So uh, that's what we've had it and uh, made up with that. <laughs>